Hey, uh, do you remember me? <laughs> the silly little woman who likes to paint and drink tea? Uh, yes, it's me, Chelsea Rose, also known as Lucid Rose. Oh man, I haven't posted since like May. Um, it's been an intense year. I turned 31, existential crisis, painted like five different murals, I've been working on a bunch of different commission work for Nini Organics, went and did some various festivals, did some live painting at these festivals, several group shows, and also just, you know, working full time, by the way, and um, still trying to be, you know, like a human being and whatnot. I, uh, I ha we have so much catching up to do, but I figure maybe the best way for me to get my feet wet again in uh, doing some YouTube videos is doing a sketchbook tour, because that's a tried and true for my channel at least. I know how to do that. So I just recently finished a sketchbook, started my new one, so it is time. It is time for a sketchbook tour. Probably the most amazing thing that just recently happened was I just got back from doing a mural festival in Mexico in a little Pueblo uh, um, by Cancun area called Akumal, and uh, it was the Akumal uh, mural festival that I got accepted as a muralist too, and I got to paint, and I ended up painting in this, in the local Pueblo's primary school, and the kids were amazing. And then, you know, I would be done, and I'd go and I'd swim in the ocean, and the ocean was like bright teal, and you could see the fishies, and I got this cute little dress that I'm wearing. So yeah, I, I'm st can you still can you tell I'm still there mentally? Um, I got back like a couple weeks ago, and I'm still still in that mindset. So I'm definitely going to be doing a uh, video about that uh, whole experience. So yes, anyway, been busy, been living, been hermiting, been couch potatoing, the whole spectrum. <laughs> so. I hope you're well. I hope you had a um, good holiday. I don't really celebrate Thanksgiving. My family is not near me and, um, you know, Thanksgiving is weird with all the history and whatnot, so. I just sat around and had a lazy day, did some watercolor painting, went and saw Fantastic Beasts, and that was amazing. The Crimes of Grimwald. Yeah, I should probably just show you my sketchbook, huh? Okay. so. Um, I usually start my sketchbook tours out with a brief explanation of the materials that I use. So let's see, so here's my sketchbook right here. Boom! Boom! Adorned with all sorts of fun stickers um, and uh, yeah, and flags because I like to mark things for different projects I'm working on. I love post-it note flags. But this is a moleskin sketchbook journal. I like them because the they're good quality. I carry these everywhere. Everywhere I go, I have a sketchbook on me, and so inevitably they get kind of messed up. But these moleskins hang in there. And uh, the pages, the, the paper itself is an interesting kind of cream color, and they're also uh, thick, so it can handle different media, like if I want to do some wet media, if I did watercolor painting or tea staining or played with ink. Um, so I really like these moleskin sketchbook journals, so that's what I use. This is my little pouch by local street artist Rx Skulls. Um, this is where I keep my pens and stuff. I start my sketches usually with a mechanical pencil. I get these from the Dollar Tree. And then uh, I love these, these uh, push erasers. And my favorite pens to work with is Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens. They're in India ink, so you can do whatever you want on top of them, watercolor, whatever, and they don't smudge, so very fun. So, yes, you, yes, 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 yes. If you are familiar or have seen some of my other sketchbook tours, some of these sketches might look familiar. I've done some little mini sketchbook tours within this sketchbook um, when I was done with different prompt lists, like for uh, Mermaid prompt list, I showed my sketches. For April Fay prompt list, I showed my sketches, probably for a draw Halloween, I don't know. So I'm gonna only go over stuff briefly and maybe even just do some flip throughs without really saying too much, cause look at me go. I can't shut up, you guys. <laughs> Oh, okay, all right, um, here we go. You ready? You ready? 
This is by a friend. The sticker on the front was given to me by Notes Sulu, who is an amazing artist, local Portland artist and muralist. And this is by my friend Punk Rock Me, who's also a great local Portland artist. Um, handmade artist given stickers, y'all. I love this. I love, I mean, look at how many I have. I, um, but we're not doing a sticker tour, are we? So here we go. Boom. Um, here's the first sketch in here. Is it ironically probably the last sketch that I ended up doing in my sketchbook? Um, I normally like to really be uh, OCD and methodically do um, one page after the other after the other, but I did a lot of skipping of pages, uh, which um, then at the end, by the time I got kind of near the end of my sketchbook, I started filling in some of the holes. So this is one of the fill-ins. Uh, this ended up being a concept sketch that I worked on for Drawloween, um, an alien concept. So uh, this is kind of like a mothership, a big giant floating head and the tongue ends up being kind of the gangway. And here, if you can see, there's a little, there's an alien giving a present or receiving a present from a earthling. And there's a little Victorian house and some giant shadowy figure checking it out <laughs> and some uh, UFOs. So yeah. This is a sushi mermaid. I know it's kind of cliche, a lot of people do this, but I had to try my hand at it at some point. Sailor Moon mermaid. I think these were maybe mermaid prompts or I don't even remember. Some of this stuff is old, I don't. I don't recall, but yes, this is definitely a Sailor Moon Mermaid sketch. Yep. Kind of Cali-ish, um, Cali-inspired, also Yoni-inspired mermaid. Something about giant mermaids. <laughs> I had fun kind of trying to draw that ship. Um, Butterflies, definitely a spirit totem of mine. Transformation. Oh, this is casting a shadow, isn't it? Put that over there. There's a Viking. Oh no, this is a uh, Valkyrie concept, um, Valkyrie concept. I imagine this is like a Celtic shaman woman connecting with um, Maybe some old stone ruins um, connecting. I think I drew this on Beltane, so kind of Beltane-y vibes. And uh, always inspired by Victorian fashion, so just enjoying playing with uh, hat, hat concepts. Should try and draw more hats is what I was thinking, I think. And then I drew one and realized it looked like a weird chip with dingleberries on it. <laughs> So I need to try trying hats more, definitely. Um, some familiars, I guess. Cat, witch, and familiar kind of situation. Um, this one was drawn for Drawloween that just happened. And look, a hat. <laughs> and she's holding a little pumpkin. I think the prompt was pumpkin. Uh, this is the magician tarot concept. This is a fairy, mushroom fairy. This is a portrait I did of Brillo the Clown and Crude Things. Candle, kind of a candle, sentient candle concept. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> This is my tea witch. Uh, so she's got a witchy hat and she's got tea, tea cups and the like. I think this is a random fill-in. Um, I was just like, oh my gosh, there's space here. I don't want to draw. And I just drew that. So some sort of little sp forest spirits. Um, I don't know what, maybe she was laying underneath this tree taking a nap and then woke up to these things gathered around her. I'm not sure. Uh, this 
is the concept I want to do big I want to do a big painting I've done a couple small color studies of this uh, but I do intend to do a larger finished full acrylic painting on canvas at some point that's why it's marked in green um, all the ones that marked in green I, I have designs for a new series that I want to do and hopefully can find a gallery that might show it choo-choo train some sort of alien miss with a with Saturn in her hand um, this is a sea witch you can see she's got lots of sea stuff all over her barnacles um, this is an autumn witch that was a filler <laughs> it's an odd little creature uh, my sentient roses which have become quite the staple in a lot of my work in the last couple years this is like a sailor moon sad sailor moon witch that I'm a little not proud of <laughs> And I'm not even sure, but I really like her hair and the weird horns of her hat. Her, her hat's pretty cool. This is an art witch, so you can see she's got a palette and lots of paint brushes and various little mediums and bottles, and she's flinging paint and it's turning into a butterfly. Jenny Green Teeth. This is for April Fay. I think we're getting into the April Fay part of the sketchbook, so I'll just kind of quickly be like, okay. This one's um, a werewolf enjoying a cup of tea with the moon. This is a really embarrassing Sailor Moon Witch uh, sketch. <laughs> I like this one though. This is a pumpkin spice witch. You got the little pumpkin patch and a scarecrow, little house, all the little pumpkins and ingredients in her list in her in her hat uh, I think I drew this here this was in here for a while this is based off of the um, body painting I do a lot when well when I do body painting I do these kind of spiraling woad concepts uh, and I've been having fun with the idea of um, in a world of my own there would be these gaggles of sentient flying eyeball roses that would just kind of <laughs> swarm and uh, these are beta fish kind of inspired creatures making a little bubble nest like beta fish Japanese fighting fish tend to do this is another portrait of Brillo the clown kind of well at least inspired by Brillo the clown I don't think he smokes um, this is fun bat ladies bat family more bats getting batty Really had fun drawing this castle. <laughs> Went a little crazy, a little overboard with her outfit, but um, really f had fun with the ringlets, like her little ringlets, and had her drinking a little cuppa. Uh, this is kind of what started my concept for uh, what I painted in Mexico. Uh, so this is inspired by Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent god of Mayan and Aztec. And then um, this concept, I don't know another painting concept it's kind of a self-portrait I guess here I am painting a giant floating head that's in the sky <laughs> and, uh, this is Titania I believe uh, that was for April Fay prompt fairy queen and some sort of interesting bonsai spirit concept that I started when I uh, was over in um, the Japanese garden. That's right by my house. This is a moon fairy. There's so many dog owners around my apartments that um, I've been wanting to draw. Kind of like a master and human. Because <laughs> that's the master, right? This is the pet. This is its pet. I don't know. Anyway, um, this is a grandmother, fae, fairy godmother kind of concept. I think this was a... I don't even remember why I drew this. I think it was for April Fay, but I don't know. Um, these two are inspired by the watery tart, the famous watery tart. 
who likes to throw swords at people. This is the Oak King. I'm not sure. Some sort of harpy. Grandmother harpy. This is the Holly King. Um, some sort of fairy queen holding a kelpie. And uh, I think another April Fay. I don't remember what the prompt was for that, but um, pretty trippy. Look at the little skull down here. Some little mushrooms she's turning into. Here's a little summer strawberry fairy. And somebody is being uh, spelled, bewitched, glamoured. This, I think I drew this while watching a scary movie. I'm a total wuss and I can't actually watch scary movies. I can listen to them. And I think I was listening to, I don't remember which movie it was, but um, I was listening to a scary movie and I drew this weird crap. And there's a siren song, mermaid. This is just a random like concept. I called it man eater because it's like a giant mermaid and she's got a little human head on a popsicle stick practically. Uh, this one was Merry Night Wanderer prompt for April Fay. This one was Fairy Ring and Shadow. And I'm not sure, but this is definitely a, a kind of like a silky narwhal kind of thing. It looks like I've used some ink and some white acrylic. And uh, this is fun. Did some watercolor. I wish I did, you know, I should do more watercolor in these things, but um, yeah. Watercolor, mermaid and octopus and little seagull. This is a kind of kimono Japanese inspired mermaid with a cup of tea and I was thinking urchin I think with her hair. More mermaids and cups of tea. <laughs> uh, warrior mermaid. Ghost mermaid. And here's like a interesting thing that started happening. I started drawing unicorns out of nowhere. So here's a unicorn kind of. <laughs> Another unicorn. Um, this is almost a self-portrait, really. When I was drawing this, I was kind of thinking self, uh, self-portrait. So read into that what you will. Definitely want to do a large painting of this soon. And here we have a giant floating pot head. You see, she's a pot because she's got flowers growing out of her head. And I don't know if she's spewing UFOs or if they're just coming around the bend, but here's a little Victorian. Uh, called this piece Disintegration. I've done a couple different color studies that I put into shows actually, but I do intend to make this a big full color acrylic painting. And then I did a series of um, tea spirits. So this is a Lady Grey. Um, Roy Boss. Roy Boss is an African red bush tea, so I was searching some of the tribes in uh, southern Africa that um, have Roy Boss as part of their life, and so um, that's what's going on here. And uh, this is Chai, and she's in a sari. Matcha, she's in a kimono with um, a traditional matcha bowl and ladle. More tea. Can you tell tea's on the brain? I got tea for brains. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. This is pretty surreal. I hope to paint this one as well. Um, someday soon. This one is also marked out for a big, I think I'm going to work on my big five foot by five foot panel that I have and integrate this. Um, exploring the archetype Huntress. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Look at this weird horsewoman thing and uh, yeah, um, <laughs> it's a lot going on, but there's like a desert background as well and I like her little dagger. And um, yeah, this was a Draloween concept sketch for Owl, a witch confronting a giant owl spirit. 
this was another concept I came up with for my trip to Mexico. I was trying to come up with concepts and um, I was thinking of doing a like island goddess. So um, you can see just down here is where the water is and there's fish circling around her neck. And she's giant and she's got little grass huts and palm trees and stuff sprouting off of her because she is a Mayan sort of uh, island goddess. But I didn't end up going with that concept. I was feeling pretty low this day. So it's um, just a, a creature lady of mine buried in the ocean. And then there's a bunch of shadowy figures on the top in boats summoning or hailing her or something and look a tea witch i think she's adorable i really like her uh this was the one of the first drawings i did for drawloween and look at her little tea cup set on her broom and little pumpkin lick those boots too i want a pair of those boots drawloween concept black cats just a giant black cat hanging out with a victorian house and this one is Nessie, Loch Ness Monster. Uh, this is a mushroom forest decay rot kind of fairy. Laboratory. So we've got some mushrooms. Got a pickled Benson Burnery butterfly. And one of the Peruvian elongated skulls that I really find fascinating. This one was Ghost clearly very inspired by Crimson Peak. Um, you know, and all of these ones that I'm talking about for Drawloween, they're um, full color digital paintings as well, um, which a lot of them are available as prints in my Etsy shop. Uh, this one's available as a print, this one's available as a print, this one's available as a print. Um, anyway, um, this one's a tea spirit. I actually had ran a little contest on Instagram where uh, I asked people to come up with a ghost story to go along with this sketch. And I had some great uh, concepts pop up. Yeah, this is still casting shadow. Sorry, everybody. Um, I had some really cool ghost stories come up. And um, so the winner got stickers. So that was fun. This was a yokai that I researched, a uh, Japanese uh, spirit, and um, it's a guardian of bridges. I did not find the sketch to be successful at all. Kind of embarrassed by it, but you know, it is what it is. This one's also pretty funny. The concept was, or the, the prompt was rat. So I was thinking about the brownies that run around in Willow, and what if there was like a badass female kind of like scarecrow brownie warrior woman <laughs> so that's what she ended up being uh the digital painting is a lot more polished and detailed this is a concept for alien this one is both well it started out as the concept for goblin queen and then by the time I start, I, fit, I got around to actually like inking it, it was the day for werewolf, so I turned it into kind of like a werewolf, but either way, I really had fun with the garland of skulls. Spider baby, oh no! It's gonna try and play with that Victorian house. Could be bad, could be bad. And here's a close up of, um, you know, when I was telling you about this this concept. See these people right here that are meeting in front of the giant mothership? This is kind of like a close-up of that meeting between alien and human. And the peace offering is a pumpkin. And that is it. Perhaps the quickest sketchbook tour I've ever done for you, but I'm feeling kind of rusty and the more I went through these sketches, I think the more I'm realizing how much of this I've actually already showed you in other videos. So, um, yeah, but I'm all done. And let's see, bonus feature. Let's look at what I've got already in my current sketchbook. So this was my concept that I ended up painting in Mexico, uh, the Quetzalcoatl 
uh, inspired piece, feathered serpent piece. It was based off of a carving I had found on the internet of Quetzalcoatl. And um, you know, it was like a double-headed feathered serpent. I was like, badass. So that's why I ended up painting something like this. But I um, should do a video about Mexico soon. So more on that. This is a sort of unicorn woman with a sentient flower and lots of flower hair and puff sleeves. <laughs> I drew this while I was in Mexico. This is a Frida Kahlo tribute. Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo. There's a lot going on here. Like um, all these little hearts, dripping blood, sprouting flowers. It's a sacred heart with wings. I've got stitching here to show, you know, her pain uh, through her, you know, medical issues. And uh, anyway, yeah, my Frida Kahlo tribute. And here's a mermaid drinking tea. <laughs> Whoops. Um, not very surprising. And I think that's it. Look at all this, I gotta fill. So I gotta fill all this before we do another sketchbook tour. So I hope you enjoyed this one while it lasted. Whew, okay, so that's done. Ha ha, uh, I hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, thanks for hanging out and um, let me know if you have any questions. You know, I know I'm not posting regularly on here, but I do post fairly regularly on Instagram. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. At Lucid Rose is my handle. Uh, so follow me, follow me, follow me. And then um, I'm on Facebook as Chelsea Rose Arts. And um, as always, you can check out my work at ChelseaRoseArts.com. There's a link to my Etsy shop on that website. Or you can go to my Etsy shop directly, which is lucidopticlab.etsy.com. So if you're interested in um, grabbing some prints, I have a lot of originals at the moment that are available. Or if you want to send me a message about uh, commissioning me to do something for you, let me know. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Much love. Bye.